Hi there, it's Jen from scribblinggrace.com. Today I have a Bible journal with me video for you guys. So this was a personal page that I was working on and thought I would film it and uh, show it to you guys. So I am working on Hebrews 6.19 which says, For we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Um, and so I knew I wanted to illustrate this page with an anchor. And so I got on my iPad and I drew out this anchor that I could trace into my Bible page. And I figured that I would give it to you guys as well. <laughs> you might uh, want to use it as well. So um, it has this big anchor, which is the one I'm using. I'm using my interlude Bible, so it has a full blank page. Um, if you don't have an interleave Bible, you can use this big one as a tip-in, or you can use the small one that is also on this page that fits in the two-inch margins of a normal journaling Bible. Um, and I also want to just point out that you definitely could use this anchor traceable for whatever project that you have in mind, any type of Bible page that you want. Um, you definitely don't have to create anything even remotely similar to mine. Um, it's just there for you to use. So you can get this at the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash anchor. And I'll put that link in the description below as well. So I am starting off by using my traceable. I cut off um, part of the page just so it fit nice right where I wanted it in my on my Bible page. And then I used a Micron size 03 pen to outline it onto my page. Um, this is something you definitely don't need to do. You can definitely just paint, um, you know, in between the lines. You don't have to use a pencil or a pen to outline it onto your page directly. That's what the whole traceable is there for. But I decided to um, actually trace it onto the page because I'm going for this kind of doodled look. So, um, and I'm going for kind of a messier doodle look. So I used my pen and I went over the traced lines multiple times. Pretty quickly, I'm not, I wasn't worried about um, getting them perfectly aligned or anything like that. I kind of wanted it to look a little messy, have some of those lines a little separated. And so um, that's how I did my anchor. And then I'm going to do that for my little coral here. So this way um, of doing cor this coral type thing, um, it also kind of looks like flames, but this was a doodle that I used to do in high school growing up. Um, I was definitely not a very artistic person. I would stick to stick figures, hearts, and this little doodle that I came up with by just doing a bunch of S swiggles and C shapes, just kind of interconnected. And I always thought that it looked like an abstract coral to me. That's always just what it seemed like to me. And so when I was doing this page, I thought, oh my gosh, I could totally incorporate that doodle that I used to do all the time growing up. So that's just one way that you can also um, find inspiration for your journaling pages is by <laughs> thinking of past doodles that you've done and just taking things from your own life and creating Bible pages out of them. So, um, Again, to create the, this coral type um, doodle here, I guess, on the bottom, um, just I just created a bunch of S shapes and then you just kind of interconnect them. Um, I wasn't really paying too much attention on where they're going. I just wanted them to kind of surround that anchor. So it looks like the anchor is going down to the bottom of the ocean onto the coral. Um, this is also kind of a cool technique, like I said, um, to do like a fire, like an abstract fire as well. It's just a bunch of swiggles. <laughs> and then I did the same um, thing with my micron pen where I just go over those lines multiple times to get it nice and uh, darker, but also so that it looks like it's kind of hand drawn on there on the page. I also decided to do my lettering before I started painting. Um, because these micron pens are waterproof, which is awesome. They also do not bleed through the page at all. I have not prepared my page. I hardly ever do. Um, so this is just a straight Bible journaling Bible page with my micron pen. It won't bleed through and it's waterproof. So I'm going to go ahead and do the lettering beforehand. And this lettering is super duper easy. Nothing fancy. I just 
wrote out what I wanted to say, which is we have this hope as an anchor for the soul. And um, I wrote it in cursive, but you could also write it in your normal handwriting. This is also great if you think that you don't have very pretty handwriting. This is a great technique to try. Um, you're basically just going to write it out and then go over it multiple times like I've been doing with all the doodles on this page. Um, and you kind of, I would recommend you go pretty fast and try not to focus too much on it. You want some gaps in between those lines and you want it to look nice and a little messy per se and hand drawn. That's the whole point of this um, lettering look. <laughs> Whew, I'm talking a mile a minute. <laughs> I'll try to slow down a little bit. So now that my lettering is down there on the page, I did uh, use a pencil to outline where I wanted it to go first and then um, use the pen to finalize that. And now I'm going to go ahead and start painting. So I'm using my Kuretake Ganzai Tambi watercolor set. This is my favorite one. This is the 36 color. Um, there's also a 24 color. I'm using this copper that's in the 36 color, but it's not in the 24 color Ganzai Tambi watercolor set. But they do sell these pans separately. Um, and they sell a whole Starry Nights uh, set as well that's like eight copper or copper gold colors type of things like that. So um, I will put all of the links to all of the supplies that I'm using and all of that fun stuff, um, what you need, <laughs> in the blog post that goes along with this video. Again, at scrollinggrace.com slash anchor. And so to paint, I started off by painting my anchor. I'm, again, I'm using this copper color, and I'm getting it pretty nice and saturated because I want to make sure that it's uh, nice and sparkly. This, of course, could be <laughs> brown as well, or gray, or blue, or whatever color you want your anchor to be. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to have a little sparkle. And um, I'm using a size 8 small round paintbrush. Really any type of round paintbrush will work for this. Um, I'm also going to use a small um, flat paintbrush later on. But for the smaller details and the smaller spaces, I'm just sticking with this smaller paintbrush. And this is just a cheap one from multi-pack, probably from the dollar store or Walmart or something like that. Um, really, it's nothing fancy. And so I wanted my coral to look uh, bright and vibrant. So I'm using multiple colors here in really saturated tones. So I have my pink, my yellow, I'm going to add some blue. Um, and so I'm having this nice and saturated, which means I'm using less water and more pigment. Um, so the more water you use, the lighter the color is going to be, and the less water you use, the brighter, darker, richer the color is going to be. So I have mine nice and rich, and I'm just really just painting inside that um, traced lines there. There's really no technique to how I'm painting, just get that paint on the page. <laughs> I had a tiny bit of green, um, but then decided to add blue instead of the green. So um, that's about it for the coral. Again, you can also see it kind of looks like fire, which I think is kind of a neat effect in itself. This coral effect I've never done before in my Bible, and I thought it was really fun. And I just want to talk about um, inspiration and how Really, it's a great example on how you can find inspiration through all different types of things in your own life. And I think that that's one of the best things about Bible journaling is that you get to come up with um, things that even from maybe a memory of doodling this coral in high school chemistry class. So um, I think that those kinds of things are really just fun. So if you're ever short on inspiration, try to think back on some of your favorite memories or things like that, and maybe um, you'll spark some new inspiration. So um, to color in the background, I'm using my flat brush now. I believe this is a quarter inch flat brush and um, just painting in. I added a little yellow to the top to act like it's sunlight from the top of the ocean. And uh, then I'm adding a blue. And so I'm adding kind of a lot of water towards the top so that my colors are more muted. And then as I get down uh, to the bottom of my page, I have my 
paint a little more saturated so it gets darker and darker, just like in the ocean, where it gets darker the farther down you go. Um, <laughs> and I'm using that round brush for those little details and then the flat brush for the big areas. Um, but of course, you don't really need to use a flat brush. You could definitely just use a round brush or any type of brush for uh, the big parts as well. And then just to add a little oomph, a little bit extra, I decided to use my Unibel Signo white gel pen to kind of add some dots here and there um, to act as like little bubbles from <laughs> where the anchor dropped. Some bubbles coming out and a little bit of detail onto the coral, just dots. Um, I just find that that helps to make it stand out a little bit more and it's those little tiny details that really make a difference. Um, so that's pretty much it for my page. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, remember that you can get your free uh, anchor printable at the blog post that goes along with this video at scribbleandgrease.com slash anchor and I'll put that link in the description below as well. Um, I Last but not least, I did add a little bit of outlining to my coral as well and then um, a little bit of white to my lettering just to help it all stand out and uh, that's about it. Overall, I'm really happy with this page. It's a little bit different than I expected. It kind of looks like flames, but um, it's one of those pages that's personal to me because it has those personal touches and it was a great time spending in the word. So um, I just want to encourage you to have fun and remember that you can use that anchor printable for whatever thing you want. Um, it's nothing fancy, but it's a great uh, tool if you ever want to do some kind of anchor page or things like that. So definitely you don't have to do anything even close to what I'm doing, but uh, I hope you have fun. All right. Have a great day. God bless.